Anyway, um, what you want to do is, now here, here's another customer. Let's get off that. I could go all night on those guys. They piss me off so much. But what about the customer that wants you to cut every three weeks or every other week? Every other week customers aren't that bad because you can work it into your schedule to where you can work with them and cut them every other week. That's not a big deal, especially if their lawn doesn't grow that good to begin with. But most of the time when they tell you they want you to come every other week, it's because they're very tight on money. They're trying to cut corners. It's generally not your ideal customer. You can still make money on them. But what I do is I jack the price up a little bit. So, you know, I'm just going to throw that number out there. But if I'm if I'm getting 25 bucks a pop to cut your grass, you know, now it's going to be 35 bucks, you know, to come out and do it. If I got to come every two weeks, because I know the grass is going to be a little bit higher. I'm going to be there a little longer. That's what I got to do. So there's that. Um, figure out your time and charge accordingly. Um, these people that it kills me when they want you to come once a month and you know, you just know when you get there, the grass is going to be a foot high. It's going to look terrible. Now, here's here's something you got to consider. Number one is the time it's going to take you. Now you got to mow the lawn two and three times, okay? Now um, it's going to be a mess every single time you come there. And because it's so high when you get there and you cut it, and if you're not raking it all off, the thatch just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. So you know you're just going to be making a, a bigger mess out of this all the time. You don't even want your trucks to be seen there half the time because it looks terrible, you know? So it, it, it by far is not your ideal customer. And again, I'm not saying we won't come in and mow you once a month because we have clients that we do that for. But believe me, they're charged. They're charged accordingly. If I know I'm going to be there, if I got to cut the lawn three times, that $25 cut just went to $75, okay? That's how you charge accordingly. That's what I mean by that, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Um, what about the customer that uh, wants you to, to cut it real short and then gets on you for scalping their lawn? That's a personal favorite of mine too, because what, what I do is I try to explain to them, look, here's your mower deck. This deck is going to go straight across that lawn. And if you have any little imperfections in that lawn, it's going to chop the tops of those little imperfections right off. Hence, scalping your lawn. Okay. I don't want to go too short because you're opening your lawn up more for insects and things of that nature and drought. You know, the higher your grass is, the more it shades the ground, the more it helps protect it, keeps it cooler, so healthier grass. That's what I try to do with those customers. I try to explain that. And I've had customers come out, and I'm, I'm ashamed to say it, but I was in one position one time where the guy come out and said, or actually it was a lady, she come out and said to me, you know, it looks okay, George, could you just mow a little bit shorter? You know, could you mow it again and just mow it a little shorter? And I'm thinking to myself, Jesus balls, I've got this mowed short enough now why would she want me to do that but i'm like sure mrs jones i'll do that i'll do that right now so i go back up grab the mower bring it back down do not adjust the deck whatsoever mowed that property again knocked on the door said mrs jones how does it look now she said oh that looks so much better george thank you so much for that you're welcome mrs jones anything to please you i never cut it any shorter and she didn't know the difference I don't know why she even did that to me, but there it is. So anyway, moving on. Um, you, The customers that always want extras done, you really got to watch these people. These people are somebody that is not fun to be around because, uh, again, I, I bought a company one time. I know I've told everybody this, but if you haven't heard it, they had 37 accounts. I lost 30 out of 37 in one month's time. The guy I bought the business from, was doing little extras for these people. And that's what he told me. And they all loved him. They really did. I went and met them all and all this stuff before I bought the company. What I did not know was how much extras he was doing for him. He literally was doing extras every single time he was on the properties. So instead of being there for 10 minutes and being down the road to the next one, which reflected what he was charging, as I looked at how much he's charging per every customer, and he was always borderline on, eh, it's iffy, it's not real good, but it's still profitable. So, okay, we'll make the deal and get it done. Well, I found out he was spending a half an hour on every property. So now I'm losing money. So I ended up losing all these customers because I refused to do all the extras. You got to watch that. And the nice way, the way to work around it, the way you need an answer to this question. You need to tell them, Mr. Jones, I've got to tell you something. I absolutely love you. I love working for you and your wife. 
You're wonderful. You're nice people. I got to tell you something. I am on a strict timeline. I've got X many jobs to do, and I've got to get them all done every single week. And if you can imagine, uh, I don't mind doing an extra for you here and there, something little that's going to take me five minutes and I'm down the road because that doesn't affect me that much. But can you imagine taking 500 customers and doing an extra 15 minutes for every one of those? Do you know how many days behind I'm going to be if I allow that to happen? Well, that's what's happening with you because every time I come here, you want me to do something extra for you. And I really can't do that anymore. And again, I mean, I love you guys. You're wonderful people. I love working for you. I just can't do these extras all the time. Okay. I just can't do it. That's how you deal with them. That's your answer to that. Okay. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, love people that claim they weren't mowed. And usually when this comes up is when they're getting ready to pay their bill. It's always around the first of the month. It's time for them to pay the bill for the upcoming month. And what do they do? They pick that time of all times to call you up and say, I don't think you were here. You know, you say you were here four times this month. I don't believe you. Well, here again, when I talked about putting the GPS tracking units in our, in our trucks, here's where that saves you. I can automatically say, hey, I've got a link. Could you do me a favor? Can you go in front of your computer? I want to show you something. Then go up there, give her the link to, to GoTrack, which is the, the company we use. GoTrack.com, I think they're called, whatever, you can find them on the internet. Have them go there, give them the link, walk them through the steps and say, punch in their address. Say, there's a little thing where it'll kick up how many times was I there that month. I can show them right where I was. I can show them when the guys were there, the date they were there, the time they were there, how long they were there, and prove, yes, we were there. But like I said, this not everybody has these GPS tracking units. For those of you who don't, how do you deal with them? You say, you know, Mrs. Robinson, let me tell you something. It bothers me that you don't believe me that I was there. I'm telling you I was there. And from this point on, I guess, you know, if you don't trust me, then you're going to have to find someone else because I, I don't want to work for somebody who calls me a liar. I will not work for somebody who does that. If you want to back it up a little bit here, talk to me about it a little bit, Let's change the way your attitude is. I'm telling you I was there. I do not like being called a liar. And as much as I want your business, I'm not going to sit here and be called a liar. When it's time to pay your bill, it's time to pay your bill. So pay your bill. That's how I handle that one.